So part three came sooner than I thought. <laughs> Still at fighting at Havar. The armor game though was strong. I just got done battling probably about six or so tanks. And I ran across those prowlers and they just destroyed me. So this is good. Still not beyond line of sight though. So not exactly what I'm hoping for out of this tank right now. It was all pretty close quarters. Like I died up there at that bend. Oh, I got a kill bonus. So I must have splashed him. So there's another one right there. The beyond line of sight is just not working out like I really want it to. Like I'd expect out of this tank. But I'm also thinking that some of this is just not hit registering like it needs to. And I'm, and I'm interested to see how that works. So that was actually a pretty quick battle. I should have had my had everything on before that. Bummer. That was a really good armor battle. The prowlers did the best they could, but they were kind of all bunched up here around this corner. And I was able to just kind of line of sight them and dock them down. This this tank is really or this turret is really good when you can I guess you can see them, but the damage profile is just really high. And I like that I can miss and still do quite a bit of damage if I'm near them. What I did notice, though, is you're missing shots that you normally wouldn't. So some of my shots, quite a number of them, end up underneath the tank, like in between the, the tire wells, which is interesting. Oh. I've been seeing that happen a lot. It's probably because I'm used to the heat round in that arc. So I'm just not used to seeing that. Ooh, almost got him. If I can get him here. No. So I am noticing I'm getting a lot of kills pretty close up. Oh, I'm about to get destroyed. Should have popped my shield, but meh. Okay, lots of prowlers over here. So let's have a fight. Let's fight. A really good gunner who's helping me out. Low Moon. Been gunning me for a while now. Pretty much the whole time. A little over an hour. Low Moon is back. Gave Lil Moon a, how, a halberd so that we could do some work. Ooh, got a little splash. There's a prowler right there. So, interesting. So I'm going to get up around here to the right. I can almost make this an aggressive tank play. Oh, we tried to save his friend. That was smart. That was very smart of him to do, but unfortunately, I was just able to get the drop on him. Just a little bit faster than he could get in front of his friend. Okay, I was able to get the splash on him. We need to heal up. We're going to be in trouble if we don't. Is that a rep bus? Yes, it is. Thank you, my friend. All right, so let's... Ooh, this... Okay, that right there was beyond line of sight. That was pretty good. Oh, no, 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 no. I need back up from this fight. Nice. I got flanked and I wasn't paying attention. That was good on the Prowler's part. So let's, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Some good fighting going on. I'm noticing that I am doing a better job up close. I want to get good at this tank from far away. I want it to be a real artillery cannon. But it's just not... It's just not materializing right now. So what I need to do is... Do a... Oh! Sorry, buddy. 
So what I need to do is science this out in the VR room and then find a way to just sight in with the scopes from beyond line of sight. Because that, that to me is where this thing, I want this thing to shine. I don't want to use this as an up close shotgun. Like this right there. Watch this tank. Oh no, there's three of them. We better, we better, we better back up. There's way more than three. Oh my gosh. Fight him. Oh Lord. <laughs> that was the worst move. He had his butt to me. This thing does so much work when when you're hitting him from the side or from behind. I wasn't impressed my first day yesterday using it for I don't know, I didn't use it very long, but I used it a little bit of time. And it just it was so obvious that that um Oh, massive prowler push. Can they make it in 30 seconds? I don't know. But in any case, there's just... Yesterday, it took, in the VR room, it took five hits to kill a Sunderer from behind. And I was putting it right into their back. It wasn't like I was splashing. I just couldn't figure out why that was happening. It had just happened over and over again. I'm like, how is this tank at all meeting its damage profile? It wasn't. And then that is just, it was weird. I'm not sure why it was like that. But now let's fight these prowlers. And I need to play a little bit smarter because I'm way, way outgunned. But I think we can pull it off. If, there you go. There's a little moon. You're not going to be able to beat me on that front, my friend. As long as the other tanks don't pop up. We should be good. That right there was a usage of my left-right scroll that I, I showed in another video somewhere. Ooh. Nice. So, <laughs> outgunned, but we took out two tanks. Not bad. Not bad. But let's let's do better. Let's do better. I, I was too focused. I need to have a little bit more surroundings. Noting my surroundings. JGX isn't bad. Not bad. I'm not convinced of it yet. I really want to see this thing thrive at long range. Two, what? Oh, 20 seconds. I really want to see this thing thrive at long range. I don't want to be farming infantry with it. And also, it doesn't seem to be spectacular at farming infantry. I can farm better with my heat cannon. Oh, nice. Nice little infill. I don't want to be farming infantry. But I can farm better with my heat cannon right now. It just seems like the arc is too unpredictable for whatever reason. Gotta go in there and rehack a terminal. Some jerk. Okay. Well, that was, uh, that's cool. I like that. That was good. Let's.
I accidentally spawned a lightning and now a little moon can't can't gun me. It was an accident, I swear. So yeah, I'll I'll end that here and probably test out the JGX, which apparently does more damage than the than the gosh darn Vanguard does. So alright, we'll end it here.